Hey guys, I'm John I'm working on Archean, uh, formerly called VRMT, and I want to show you an update today on what I'm doing with room scale level design. Let's see what that's what can be done there. And if you're not familiar with this project, um, it's basically an NVR level editor. So I can right now make mushrooms, I can go over here and change what I'm making, ferns or whatever. It's a little flower bed. Uh, and then down here I have a bunch of tools, so like I can move stuff around, um, destroy, and also all these walls you've seen here are built with this wall tool, where I can make a wall and then, oops, kind of messed. And then extrude an edge, and so on. Um, and I can also like subdivide a wall here, and for example, extrude that piece of it. Uh, but what I want to show you today is using those tools, uh, kind of some experiments I've been doing with, like I said, room scale level design, seeing what that's all about. Uh, so I'm going to go into adventure mode here. So ignore the flowers, um, but now I don't have the creation interface anymore. I'm just kind of playing the game as if you had you know, designed a level and then sent it to somebody. Uh, so the room that I've started out in here just is wide open. I can walk all through here and hopefully never hit anything if my walls map correctly. Um, so, you know, I, I just figure you should always start the player in a open room because you don't know what part of their actual space they're going to start in. Uh, but then as we start moving in, these little blue orbs are teleport points. So I can teleport there. You know, my vision that's fading out and fading in, but you don't see it on the monitor. Um, as, as we start getting into the environment and using these teleport points, we can start to kind of direct where the player is in the room as they get to the next room. So, for example, the next room in this environment is over there. And I can only get there if I'm standing kind of in the front of the room like this. Uh, so I'm going to go pop there. And then this one, or there's, there's the next one through the crack there. And I can't see that if I'm kind of where I started here in the front of the room or if I get too far to the back of the room. So again, that just kind of ensures that I'm going to be, in this case, like in the middle of the room. And then you'll see that kind of the deeper I get into this, uh, the more that I play with this. So here I'm just blocking my vision from the next one over there. Pop in. Um, and as I start going deeper in, so here's, here's actually where I really started playing with it in this level. <clears throat> in order to see, so like that's kind of obviously the, the clear path, the, the obvious place the players will go next, hopefully. But if you peek around here, there's another spot down down there. Now if I snap over there, all right, so now here I am in one edge of my room. I've actually lost my orientation. Okay, I'm on the left side of my office here. <clears throat> and this wall here is right here. So that's kind of taking up most of the space here in my actual room. Uh, and I can pop into here, so I point my hand through the crack. Now this is this is my favorite example in this level. Um, here I have this wall here that is just right through the middle of my office. And I can walk around it, and yeah, like that's that's where it is for me. Um, and I've I've done with this to a bunch of people now, um, just here in my office and at our local Boston VR meetup. And I have never seen somebody walk through this wall. Every single time, they're going to walk around the wall like this. And you will never, ever, ever see somebody, you know, at least somebody new to VR. But like, even I, I have a hard time. Just like, all right, I know it's not real. Ugh, it feels really weird. Um, so that's a really like, powerful feeling, being able to put something in the middle of the room, being able to kind of make a path through the room that the player's in. And again, I'm, you know, ensuring that the player has to start at this edge of the room they're in because of this this barrier in this room. And of course you, you could just like stick your head through this this wall here, this crack here, and, and then you'd end up in the middle of that wall over there. But again, I've never seen it happen of all the play tests I've done. Uh, so that's kind of what I've been experimenting with is just like how to make pathways through the room that the player can explore. There's another one over here. So again I'm kind of in a edge of my office here and I can walk around this wall and navigate over to this thing. And then here's just like one of the little treasures I've hidden in this level. So 
in a nutshell, I mean, that's that's what I've been experimenting with lately for, you know, again, room scale level design and, and like all the demos that I've seen so far on on the Vive. Where are we? Hey. Uh, all the demos I've seen so far on the Vive have, have just put you in a box. Um, and, you know, you're interacting with stuff at the edge of the box, which is super cool. Like, um, you know, so many of the games that we've seen have very cool interactions kind of at the edge of the room. But I haven't really seen anybody kind of experimenting with, you know, filling up part of the room and making you actually physically navigate through the room. And I know this is something that a lot of developers are explicitly avoiding because they're like, all right, well, we don't know how big people's rooms are. Like, we can't count on somebody having this much space to walk in like I have here in my office. Um, and I guess in that way, I've felt like really liberated to mess with this stuff because this is a level editor. So, you know, if you're in a smaller room, you could you could use smaller levels. You know, you can we can kind of scale this down for you know medium sized rooms, smaller sized rooms, um, and I guess that's just kind of the the you know one of the advantages of having player generated content or procedural content. You see what I'm going for here with kind of doing level design in room scale, specifically level design that makes the, the player uh, walk around the space, navigate their space, and, and again, that, that is kind of dependent on the size of your room. And of course, if you're in a really small room, if we're just talking about like a standing experience, then you know there isn't really any navigation to be had. Um, and I'll do a future video with kind of how I'm, how I'm dealing with some of that stuff. Like this project also runs on like gear and cardboard where you don't have any positional tracking. Um, and the same content has to also work in that in that context. So I'll show that uh, another day. Anyway, just uh, <clears throat> thought I'd share and see what you guys think about this. Um, see you next time.